News. In that race, Castor will face philanthropist David Straz. Nightside's Emerald Morrow is at Lowry Park Zoo, where Straz held a watch party for his supporters tonight. Emerald, what's the feeling there tonight? He made it to the runoff. Yeah, that's right, Katie. They have cleared us out, but they did so with a lot of excitement, and that is absolutely the word that I would use to describe the feeling among his campaign because Stras did pull off a very, very close race. And as we have heard before, you know, this race was very close for a moment. It was looking like Jane Castor was going to pull off the 51% that she needed to become the next mayor of Tampa. But her falling short in that area does mean that David Stras has the opportunity now to prove one more time to voters why he feels he should be the very next mayor of Tampa. And as he spoke to his supporters tonight, he made it clear that the campaign, this new campaign, begins right now. But the premise of his campaign will remain the same. He says he vows to focus on the key issues of better economic opportunity, transportation, affordable housing. He also talked about making sure areas like East and West Tampa are not neglected as the city does redevelop. And he was also very clear in targeting some of the more controversial programs he he says are backed by Castor, including red light cameras and bike ticketing policies that some say have disproportionately targeted minority communities. The voters of Tampa have given me a great vote of confidence. Uh, I came into this uh, with no name recognition and I'm coming out in second place having beat five other politicians and I consider that a victory and now we move on to the next step. And that next, next step is now figuring out how exactly is Straz going to catch up with Castor's huge lead. He says that his team is now going to sit down, refocus, and re-strategize so they can be ready for that April 23rd election. Back to you.